Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we're revisiting Zubuntu 14.04. So you may be wondering what this video is all about. Well, for about a month now, I have been running Zubuntu 14.04 as my main desktop. Now, to put this in perspective, remember, I am the kind of person that likes to run Arch Linux because it's you know it's got the bleeding edge of software development I am also a huge fan of the GNOME desktop so maybe you know why is he running Zubuntu 14.04 one I haven't played around with that distribution in a while and it's like eh, let's uh you know let's do something different uh, you know that sort of thing uh, also there are times where I need to sit down at the desktop and get some work done and I'm not talking about uh, you know software testing you know playing around with the latest uh, you know the latest and greatest of whatever piece of software uh, you know not bug you know bug hunting and that sort of thing I need to sit down I need to write a letter I need to work on one of my novels I need to uh, you know I need to work a work up a blog post I need to work on something in GIMP all that kind of stuff and while you know the bleeding edge software will allow you to do that always in the back of your mind is like well gee I hope this doesn't crash on me uh, uh, let's see how buggy this is going to be um, remember to back up every 30 seconds in case this crashes Zubuntu 14.04 while it may be kind of plain and boring it is rock solid stable everything is working uh, you know no problems with anything no bugs no crashes everything is great uh, you know it, it it just it simply gets out of the way of, of me getting some work done and you know it's not flashy or anything like that um, but it is a great workhorse so let me do a quick rundown of how I got my desktop laid out uh, really it's it's the the layout that I've got very simple uh, of course I've got the whisker menu up here in the corner and uh, you know you can either launch it via the mouse or the windows or super key and then of course my favorite feature of it is that I can do a keyboard search for everything I don't like going through menus and, and searching for what I want I like to be able to just type in what I'm looking for like say I was looking for LibreOffice boom there it is and launch it like that um, that's just kinda the the way my brain works I know a lot of people like to add uh, add docs and uh, quick launches that sort of thing to uh, to, to Zubuntu but for me I, I just want to be able to do a keyboard search so next to that rather than a regular um, window indicator or window list uh, I got rid of that and I installed DocBar X which gives you basically an icon an icon view of the uh, the open windows and then if you hover over it you know it'll give you a little description of whatever it is that you're running that sort of thing and then over here in the center I've got both the time got the time and date right here and then right next to it is a launch for the sunrise calendar and I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more in in just a minute so anyway, I got that and then I've got the tray icons over here and then um, internet connection and then sound indicator and that's you know as far as the desktop goes that is essentially it normally uh, I set the uh, I set the top panel to auto hide I don't have that set up right now for the uh, just so I could do the video so you could see the panel without it disappearing on me now I've upgraded the XFCE version to 4.12 and let me drag this over here here is my software sources and as you can see I've added quite a few PPAs and you know maybe I don't have the latest uh, software release of you know any particular piece of software but uh, uh, for the most part I'm running the the most recent stable release um, but as you can see it takes a quite a few PPAs now some of it is for a few things that I added like the PPA for the simple screen recorder uh, PPA for uh, make MKV um, 
got some some of the new blabs uh, PPA so I can add icons and themes that sort of thing so um, you know some of it is from that but a lot of it is so that I can run that latest software so you may be wondering you know is there anything on the desktop that uh, you know I'm missing that I wish I had that sort of thing uh, a little bit but by and large it's uh, it's been a real good experience and I don't know if uh, you know walking into it I had the mindset of okay this is a, a distribution that's two years old don't have your hopes too high I, I don't think it was as much of that as just that uh, you know uh, with everything being rock solid, stable, and working, um, the few little things that I didn't have were easy to overlook. Um, and I found, you know, alternatives for most of it. Uh, for example, one of the things that I really like with the GNOME desktop is that you know, you got your time and date there. If you go and you you click on it, normally not only do you have your calendar there, but along with that drop down it'll list all of your Google Calendar events if you're syncing with Google Calendar. Um, we can't do that here but kind of as an alternative uh, right next to right next to the calendar I've got I've added a quick launch for the sunrise calendar so if I click on that no, it opened up in my other window but uh, you know I click on that and boom my uh, my sunrise calendar pops up so uh, you know I'm not missing too much there I would like to have the drop down on the integrated calendar but uh, this is this is a pretty good uh, alternative and uh, you know I can from here I can go and easily add events to my my calendar that sort of thing so there's that um, Thunar which is our file manager really good rock solid doesn't use a whole lot of resources the only real downside to it is there is no dual pane mode that's something that I really like normally on the GNOME desktop I add um, usually I add Nemo so that I can run you know the dual pane mode now I could go and add Nemo here I could go and add something like um, uh, what is it uh, PC PCFM the, you know the one that they use on uh, the Lubuntu desktop that one's dual pane there's space FM um, which would give you I think you can get up to four panes on that one um, but you know I found that I'm really not missing it you know if you if you need uh, more than one pane I'm just opening another window so like here at the downloads you can right click that I could go open in a new window and boom go like that and uh, you know Thunar has got some nice features of its own, like all the custom actions you can add. Like um, if I go and do right click on here again, um, I created a custom action for open terminal here, find in this folder and open as root. Um, you know, that's something that I wish you could do in, uh, in, in um, used to be called Nautilus now files, uh, adding custom actions. Um, yeah you can sort of kind of but uh, um, the the uh, the Nautilus files is not as flexible uh, or as adaptable as it used to be now it's not a bad file manager but there's been a lot of features that have been stripped out so there's certain aspects of the GNOME desktop that I do miss one is that you know the I already talked about the uh, the the uh, integration with the GNOME calendar that's a big one for me uh, also I like being able to hit that that Windows or super key and then you get that whole overview of all your applications you can do a keyboard search all that kind of stuff from there um, that being said there's a lot of stuff from the GNOME desktop that I do not mix um, one is you know an update to GNOME comes down the pike you update and boom such and such application no longer works and that happens all to me all the time um, you know it it just doesn't happen with the XFCE desktop uh, another one is okay um, you were on GNOME 314 GNOME 316 comes out you update and now none of your extensions work I like the extensions uh, system so you know 
various third parties and, and whatnot can go and develop extensions to improve the desktop. But at the same time, who knows when those are going to be updated. So, uh, you know, you got some extensions that may have been, that they may be sitting out there for a couple of years before they get updated. Others, you know, some, some of the people that, uh, that uh, maintain these extensions, they are right on top of things as far as getting them updated. Others, not so much. So it's kind of a, a little bit of a crapshoot on that. But anyway, um, you know, not having the extensions crash, and not work on me that's a nice thing too um, <clears throat> and while I'm talking about extensions you know I'm finding that you know I on my gnome desktop I load it down with all kinds of extensions but I'm finding here that uh, you know I'm perfectly happy without all those extensions um, and you know at the same time I've got a real lightweight desktop running I mean right now um, let me pull up the monitor system monitor here and go to resources so right now I'm running uh, say one and a half gigs on my memory and that is with simple screen recorder uh, the uh, the webcam viewer um, got a few things running in the background and uh, I've got Chrome open so I mean all that stuff going on and yet you know uh, still tons of memory available plenty of CPU power uh, and you know I don't have the most powerful CPU around but uh, you know very light on the resources uh, It kinda gets back to that whole thing I was saying it just gets out of the way and lets you get to work on your applications so anyway that uh, that's about it for this video um, you know I guess I kinda I can kinda finish things up by saying I know there's lots of you out there that uh, you know are like me that always got to have the bleeding edge and all that kind of stuff. But uh, you know, every now and then it's nice to kind of step back, grab a, grab a, a distribution that, like I said, is just rock solid works. Maybe it doesn't have all the latest uh, software releases and whatnot, but uh, wow, everything works and uh, nice and light on the resources as well. Um, anyway, that finishes things up. As always, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you think. Let me know what you think down below. Questions, comments, all that kind of stuff. I try to get to them as soon as I possibly can. And I hope to see you all on the next video. Thanks a lot.